Alright, Shalom, first and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Harakakodash. Yahweh being the name of our Heavenly Father, which is which means He to be, He exists. The existing one, He has no beginning or end. Bahasham is in the name, and Yahushai is only begotten Son of the Holy Ghost, the cause of Lord and Jesus Christ. His name is Yahushai, which means He delivered and He Savior. He Savior. Israel is going to need a deliverer and a savior here in these last days from the onslaught of the devil. He's one Edom who's going to come in like a flood to overthrow the nation of Israel. And Bahasham Racha Kadash, which is the spirit holy. Right, a separate spirit from the spirit of the world. Which is the spirit of the world is a spirit of confusion, Babylon, sodomy, and, and oppression, Egypt. Right? Persecution. Persecution. Upon the nation of Israel, right? Now, we need times here in these last days where, uh, you know, this year's coin, 2024, the year of the hopeful time of Jacob's trouble, and we seen, we seen the trouble, you know, we, we herald the trouble, we anticipate the trouble, we, 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 we encourage the trouble because what? Before there's peace, there's war, before there's that rest, that quietness, righteousness has to be established. All right, and we don't want to be troubled in our minds or in our thoughts concerning what is happening happening to the world. The scripture says, "Only with thine eyes thou shalt see the reward of the wicked." All right, and just thinking about it, meditating on it a little bit, you know, even Yahweh Shai, right, felt abandoned at some point in time in his walk upon the cross making the sacrifice that he knew he had to make in order to inherit this kingdom because that's why he is called his only begotten son well that's one of the reasons because he came as a sacrifice for his sins and his sins of the nation of Israel uh, at the time as uh, uh, what in the incarnation as Yahweh Shai right he came as that sacrifice sacrificial lamb right he didn't come as the sacrificial lamb in the time of Isaac right he came as a sacrificial lamb. The time, the season for him to be that sacrifice was as Yahweh Shai in all righteousness, right? And when he was on the cross, he felt abandoned from the Heavenly Father, right? He cried out. He felt abandoned, right? He was even afraid where he, where, where he, where he prayed and sweat drops of blood, right? The scriptures, the scriptures speak of these things they testify of these things right the scriptures say the servant is not greater than the master right so sometimes you may feel abandoned sometimes you may feel that you're in the fight alone sometimes you may them de demonic thoughts might get a, a hold on you but they don't want them to have a strong hold on you remembering the words right and we have the power of prayer we have the power of prayer right Psalms 94 and verse 18 and 19 it says when I said my foot slipped right thy mercy O Yahweh held me up right Yahweh Shai is that mercy he was the propitiation for our sins right so we pray pray is one of our most powerful tools in the armor of the most high, most high Salakia right we have Apostle Rakahi all, all the apostles always speak about prayer Apostle Raka, he definitely goes into the Wadi Psalms, reminding us that we should pray. Right? He says, um, keep your medicine strong. That's his words. Keep your medicine strong. It's just that prayer. Right? So, Yahweh Shai, we pray to Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai, who suffered what we're suffering. He's that example. He suffered what we are suffering now presently. It's not something strange. It's not something new. He's just, we suffering what they suffered, what he suffered. All right? And we have an example. Paul suffered. The apostles suffered. Right? We're going to suffer. We're going to have them thoughts. Right? But we know definitely. Right? At the end of the pro uh, 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 of the prophecy, the ship just says what? Jacob shall be delivered from them. From them all. Right? It says, In the multitude of my thoughts, you know, them demonic thoughts, within, within me, thy comforts delight my soul. You know? We know the end of the story. We know the end of the, the parable. We know the end of the prophecy. Right? We know the end. And the end is that what? Jacob. Right? 
going to be delivered from them all. Alright? Jeremiah 30 verse 7, it says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it, even, sorry, it, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble. And this is the end. The scriptures say, yeah, I no, I no longer call you servants, but friends. A servant doesn't know what a friend, a servant doesn't know what the master do it. But Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushan, has revealed unto us, Right? He has opened our cognition to know, to understand. See, these Christians perplex. Vokal Malone study on Hebrew Israelites where all other religious organizations doing pure madness. They're doing pure abomination. They're doing, they're doing the most. They're doing the most in wickedness. The Pope to the priest to the pastor, they all, they all, they, they all unrighteous, right? But 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 the apologists have nothing to say about that. Vukov have nothing to say about that. Right? You see the time is gonna come where their lack of belief, their incredulity, right? Is gonna lead to their destruction, it's gonna lead to their lack of comfort. And and what, what what's gonna happen? We should just say we will laugh on any day of your calamity when your fear come in. When it comes as a what a whirlwind. Where is that? That chariot, right? When them chariots come in the sky. When Jacob's trouble come, right, we're gonna be laughing at these men. Right? It says, but he shall be Job Jeremiah 10 verse 7. But he shall be saved out of it, right? The elect is gonna be saved out of it. Okay? The elect, the election of Yahabashim and Shai, they're gonna be delivered out of this hell. Right? We hope we hope to be the elect. And what a matter of fact. As long as we continue with the uh, as long as we continue in, in, in righteous work, right? We have nothing to worry about. Right? First John 3 and 7, little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. So continue doing your righteous works and having faith until the end. Right? You know, this is off the fly. It's as the spirit leads, you know. Alright, Ephesians 2 verse 8, for by grace are ye saved through faith and not of yourself. It is a gift from the most high. Right? Faith. You know. We have faith in Yahweh Bashim and that he's gonna show us mercy. Right? Ephesians 1 and 4, according as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be a holy and with holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by a Mashiach. Unto him, Yahweh Shamashiach, unto himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of his glory, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he had made us accepted in the beloved. We are what we are accepted in him, in whom we have redemption through his blood and forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. So we hope to have that forgiveness of uh, through his blood and forgiveness of sins, right. Having forgiveness of sins, meaning that what? You're not going to be accounted. Your sins are not going to be accounted. Blessed is the man whose sins are not imputed unto him. They're not going to be accounted. And why is that important? Right? That's how we know vocabulary. And they are, they, we, we, can, we, we, you know, we can laugh at them. We, can, we, can, we, 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 we defend the gospel and we keep it moving. We don't have to, we don't have to be angered at, him, at them. We're not angered because we know the end of their story. The, the end of their story is destruction. Right? Because they don't believe in Yahweh Shai. So they don't have repent, repentance and sin. The scripture says, He that doubted is damned. They don't believe in Yahweh Shai. What if they didn't even consider him? What if, what if these men are right? Right? So they're damned. They're damned from the beginning. But we who do believe and continue to work in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Right? The scripture says, The wages of sin is dead. So we're not looking to be destroyed by, by, by any of the plague's pestilences. That's going to come. Right? But they're going to be troubled. Jacob is going to be troubled. Right? The rest of the world is going to be troubled. Right? Let me see if I get this real quick. I can't remember if it's 91 or, or if it's 121. Let me see. Psalms. Right? Psalms 9. Right? Psalms 91. You see, do you think Vokal Malone and they are going to be delivered in that day? No. Right, for the mere fact one that vocal alone through the spirit seems to be a, 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 a 
need a mic, right? These these so-called black Christians in the spirit of, of 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 the Egyptian, they don't believe they don't believe the testimony, so they are not sealed, right? Psalms 91 and 1, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of, shadow of the Almighty. That, that is the truth. The truth is the secret place. It's a secret. That's why the world can't receive it. The world can't see the spirit of truth because they know it not. Right? But we see it. We know the spirit of truth because he dwelleth in us and he is with us. And what the Lord said, he will be with you till the end of the earth. Right? He will be with you till the end of the earth. I will be with you till the end of the world. Sorry, not the earth. The world. The end of the world, which world? Esau's world, right? I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress; my power in Him will I trust. Surely He will, He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Now the snare of the fowler, fowler is a, a bird catcher. A snare is a trap, right? The trap is what the MOTB. The noisome pestilence is what the the, the, the missiles, the chariots. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under wing under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Right? So the feathers and wings represents the chariots. We know the truth. This doctrine is the truth. And it's a shield and buckler. You know it's a shield and a shield is a form of def defense. It's an armor. A buckler is a small shield that goes on your forearm. Alright? So this truth is a shield and buckler. Alright? So all those who don't believe, guess what? They're going to be, they're going to be, um, they're gonna be destroyed, right? They're gonna be destroyed. It says, Second Exodus, um, chapter fifteen, verse three: Fear not the imagination against thee; let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Right? All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. But we, who are in your Hashem Yahushai. We are not to be troubled. Right? You know, the demon's gonna come, but rebuke, re rebuke, the scripture says, rebuke the devil and he shall flee. First, sorry, St. John chapter 3, verse 33. He that had received his testimony had said to his seal that the power that power is true. Right? So the Christians, black black Christians, they have not said to their seal. Right? This is John three to the tree, labor not for the meat that which is which perisheth. You see, you have uh, amongst the circumcision those who are into merchandising, Hebrews are like garments, etc. That is meat which perisheth. You should just say all that is in front of you is, is temporal, right? But that which the Lord giveth is everlasting. But for the meat which enjoyeth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him had power for for him had power the father seal you see <laughs> the lord is coming to render unto every man what he done All right oh uh, this is um second of just chapter 2 and 26 you know we're going to be safe about is that we have the elect going to be safe in that day or the pestilence the famine the arrows the destruction disease x Concentration camps, even if you have to die, you're safe because you're, you're in your house. Shy. The dead in your house shy are going to arise first. Precious in the sight of the Lord are the death of his saints. You're going to see the fall of your enemy because even two thirds of these, 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 these jakes across here, across there in Babylon and the rebels around the world, they're just in the spirit of the enemy. So when the enemy fall, you're going to see it. You're going to be in a chariot watching from a bird's eye view down on the destruction of the man that caused the spirit of the earth to be foul. All right, the corrupt of the whole planet, you're gonna see him be destroyed. Then your people are gonna be right. Israel's is gonna be right. All, all of Israel is gonna come back right. Right. Second Exodus two and twenty six. As for the silver on whom I, whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number. You see, shall not one of them perish. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful. But thou shalt be merry and have abundance, you see? So this is the beginning of our uprising. Of our exaltation as a, as a nation, as a people. Starting with the one-third, the elect, 
of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Right? Don't let them thoughts overcome you. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Them thoughts is lies. Right? The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee. Say the Lord, my hand shall cover thee so that thy children shall not see hell. Right? Just enjoy what you have to enjoy. Suffer patiently. Enjoy what you have to enjoy to get a crown. Right? Don't let them thoughts overcome thee. Let go from the mortal thoughts. It says, 2nd Ezra chapter 14, verse 14. Right? And 15. It says, let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Right? Where you going to eat? You know, first thing, they take away a job. They take away a job. What are you going to do to eat? You know? Trust in your house. me shy. He always provided. Elijah, we have the examples. Elijah, Elisha, right? Daniel, Habakkuk. We have the examples. Cast away the burdens of man. Um, put off now that weak nature. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. And haste thee to flee from these times. Yeah? And this is what we haste in. The time of Jacob's trouble. We needed to come. But guess what? You're going to be in trouble. You're going to be in trouble. But look towards your house shy. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen shall happen, shall ha has seen happen shall be done hereafter. You understand? It says, For look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. For the time is fled far away, and least in his heart at hand. For now hasteneth the vision to come, which thou hast seen. So we in the time of that trouble. But we're going to be good, our brothers and we are being led. So I pray it was edifying, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Hanukkah, Kodash. Shalom, to the elect.